in a transition phase when it comes to EVs. Not all forms of transport yet have an EV or hydrogen equivalent. The charging infrastructure, certainly in the UK, is not yet as voluminous or reliable enough to cope with all of the 35 million cars on the UK roads suddenly going zero emissions. The same issue exists in most European countries, so collectively there is still an enormous amount of work to do. So when it comes to what will be for most businesses a huge shift in transport strategy, data, or rather insight, is going to be key to supporting knowing what and when to change. For example, understanding current journey patterns that are undertaken and then being able to efficiently plan different routes in the future to meet the transport needs are just two pieces of insight from data that will support businesses moving to new transport technologies. Businesses will see the switch as a risk and what all businesses want to do is minimise risk, especially at the moment where the whole world is dynamically changing from one moment to the next. So those suppliers that can provide insight are seen as enablers and add value to their clients in this transition who will be the ones who prosper. We're in a transition and even though it has been 12 years since EVs began to be adopted in earnest, we are still a long way from knowing what the final landscape will look like. What is for certain in the coming years is that vehicles will change at an increasingly rapid rate in terms of their capability, their range and their price. Charging infrastructure will dramatically improve, government legislation will tighten, forcing the adoption of clean technologies, not just in transport, but in all areas of business. And there will be a growing desire from the public to see the organisations they interact with doing business in a genuinely sustainable way. But don't panic, there is time. Do the research, get hold of the data, insight or work with a partner like Webfleet Solutions who can support you with data insights about your own business at the moment and use that to take all those important first small steps. These things are and will continue to change rapidly and it may feel like it is hard to keep up, but inertia and doing nothing will also not work. We are here witnessing the biggest change in transport since the horse and cart were superseded by the combustion engine and not all the answers are known yet. But these are also exciting times with new technologies emerging and new ways of living our lives and we have the opportunity to make a positive change to our climate if we embrace it.